And this is what worries me at the bottom here. It also pledges to clear the backlog of asylum claims, including some 90,000 mi migrants who would have been sent to Rwanda and end the use of hotels to house them. End the use of hotels to house them. Well, where are they going to sleep? You know, they're not yeah. going to be sleeping under a bridge. What they're going to be doing is moving these people into new housing yeah. and new accommodation centers that they're going to be building all over the country. You know, when Starmer says he's going to be building so many more new houses, these are not houses for us. These are not houses for the indigenous British people. These are houses for the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are coming over illegally every week, every who's month. Who's going to pay for that? It's going to be you and me. But Rachel Reeves said all oh, Labour are going to build, what, 1.5 million, wasn't it, in five years? So 300,000 homes a year. Then she said, well, we're not going to do it, actually. The private sector is going to do it. So I don't. every time I've seen a new build estate go up, the decent homes, most of them get filled. Some don't even get filled because the average house price in this country is now 285000 which no first-time buyer can possibly afford to get a 10% deposit for. Then she said, well, the private sector can build all these um, social housing. I'm like, no, they're not. They would never do that because they're going to lose so much money. I think it's 15% of each new build estate now has to have, sorry, it has to have 15%, I think, social houses on it. And all they do is they come to the end of building the proper houses, not proper houses, you know what I mean, the uh, more valuable houses. And then they say, oh, we've gone bust, and they rename the company, and they move on to the next place, and they don't build the social housing. So really? none of this social house, yeah, none of this social house is going to get built. So when you say they're going to put these migrants into, I don't know, four or five bedroom houses or something like that, that the average Brit couldn't afford, who's going to be paying to put them in there? It probably costs more than putting them in hotels. Exactly. You've, take, you've taken away the only deterrent we had. And Rwanda might have been expensive, but it was acting as a deterrent. The numbers were down. People were leaving this country to go to Ireland and places like that and go back to the EU because they were so frightened of being sent to Rwanda. The Tory government had, um, had uh, detained hundreds of people waiting to go out on the first few flights. Labour, on their first day, said, no, it's all right, you can all go free. So they've let them out into the country now. We don't know where they are. They could be anybody. They could have done anything anywhere in the world. And they could be next door to you, for all you know. You simply don't know where they are now. And that well, 90,000 you just referenced, that's going to be an amnesty. They're going to say, everyone, off you go, all in. That's all it's going to be. They'll do yes. nothing. Yes, yes. That's uh, in this article. Labour will allow 100,000 migrants to apply for asylum in, quote, unquote, effective amnesty. That's from the Telegraph uh, a week ago, 9th of July. Uh, some 90,000 migrants earmarked for deportation to Rwanda will be among those who will be processed through the asylum system. And they will be coming to a village and town near you, Yeah, according to... Isabel Oakshot here. Labour won't stop the boats. It will send migrants to your town. Mm -hmm. And I see that as being a big issue, which is going to come into everybody's consciousness over the next five years. And how we as the British people respond to this is going to determine the future of the nation and whether we can even stay British, English, Scottish, Welsh, the Irish are struggling to remain Irish right now. 